Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to fix your iPhone applications if for some reason they are not updating. Now again, these types of things happen all the time and most of the time this may actually be due to a network connection problem. Who would have guessed it? So what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings app and you want to verify you're on a Wi-Fi connection that's good, you know, aka the 5G one, or you have a strong cell connection or whatever the case is. Now how do you test these types of things? Well, what you want to do is you can make your way over to your app store like this. If it takes a very, very long time for you to even load up the app store, then you may have an issue. Also, if you load up your web browser like this and you try to load up any other web page, you know, and it takes a long time for those type of web pages to load up like this, then you may have another issue and you may actually have to go ahead and fix that specific network connection or connect to a better Wi-Fi connection. Now, for some reason, it's everything's working fine and it seems normal, but the applications are still not, you know, updating. Well, what you want to do next is you want to verify the apps weren't updated or they were updated. Sometimes these applications could update super fast. So what you want to do here is sometimes next to the names and icons of these specific, you know, applications, there can be a little dot. Now that little dot will actually signify that that application has already been updated. So as long as there's a little dot next to it, then you're good. If not, what you can do is make your way over to your app store. You want to go find that specific application once more. So let's just say it was this specific app. Well, all you would have to do again is to verify that there's either an open button or an update button. Now, if there's an open button, then that application is up to date on the most recent version as of right now, you have you making the video or you seeing it. If there's an update button like this, you wanna try again. So just try updating your specific application once more. And most of the time, it may take like an extra second or two if it's loading really slow. So if that icon just takes a long time for it to go through, then that is a specific problem that's a network connection problem. Now, if none of these things are working and the application is still not updating, the final thing you can do or one of the final things is to make your way over to a settings application like this, go down to general, click on software update, and see if there's an update available for your specific device. Like I mentioned before, as long as you're on a more recent version of software, then you should be good to go. If you have a very outdated phone, aka like an iPhone 5 or something, and you know, you're trying to update your app but it's not working, most of the time if you have an application or a specific phone that that's old, it's probably not going to work. Apple stops supporting an application developer, stops supporting certain apps after a certain amount of time. So you may want to update a phone or downgrade to a different version of the application and pretty much move on from there. So that's pretty much it. That's how to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.